If we are to escape the same fate that befell the Neanderthals and our other experimental predecessors, our best hope for survival is to crack our genetic code and activate the power of our divine DNA. Dr. Hammer, a molecular geneticist, claims he has identified the God gene in human DNA. It's called VMAT2, and its job is to release the feel-good chemicals in our body called dopamine and serotonin, which give us the experience of bliss. VMAT2 is the DNA gene of our pineal gland. What's the pineal gland? It's a gland about the size of a raisin located between our eyebrows and directly behind our eyes, right smack in the middle of our cranium. It's called the pineal gland because it resembles a tiny pine cone. This powerful gland is believed to be the seat of our soul and the gateway to the universe and higher realms. Because its structure is remarkably similar to our eyeballs, it's called the third eye or the mind's eye. It actually has a lens, cornea, and retina. The blue bloods revere it. They call it the all-seeing eye and have featured it on the US $1 bill. Strangely, our pineal gland, which is tucked away in the dark recesses of our brain, is bioluminescent and sensitive to light. Like a cell phone, it has a built-in wireless transmitter and is the connecting link between the physical and spiritual worlds and higher frequencies. By awakening our pineal gland, we can speed up our learning and memory abilities, enhance our intuition, wisdom, and creativity, trigger our psychic healing abilities, and experience bliss. The symbol of this pine cone shaped gland is the pine cone. It is so revered by the Vatican that a special court was built called the Court of the Pine Cone, where the symbol of the world's largest pineal gland is on display. The symbol is also found on the staff of the Pope and the Egyptian god Osiris. Considering the power and function of the pineal gland, why has it been ignored and given so little mainstream attention? Why? Because it's our power source and the ruling families know this. Medical science refers to the pineal gland as the atrophied third eye. By the age of 12, it is already calcified and hardened, and by adulthood, it is dormant and atrophied from lack of use. Recent research reveals that fluoride, which is a toxic additive to our water supply and toothpaste, accumulates in the pineal gland where it wreaks havoc. Outdoor activities, eating less sugar, and eliminating processed foods and fluoride from our diet can help to revitalize it. There is an ancient technique that has been preserved and passed down through the centuries for reactivating the pineal gland. The technique produces the same results that Tibetan monks achieve through trance meditation. This exercise technique should not be attempted by anyone who does not feel ready to explore higher realms of consciousness beyond the five senses. To begin the exercise, you need to find the right vibrational tone of voice. Hum the word love, not in a low or high-pitched voice, but somewhere in between. When you find the right tone, it will feel right. Sit comfortably with your back straight and your eyes closed and scan your body for any sign of tension. Take three long, deep breaths through your nose and exhale all the tension through your mouth. Now think about opening your third eye and entering a loving universe where all that exists is bliss. Take another deep breath through your nose and hold it for a few seconds. Just before you exhale, purse your lips and place your tongue between your teeth. Press down gently on your tongue with your teeth 
as you slowly exhale through your pursed lips, loudly hum the word love and vibrate the V sound until all of the air is expelled from your lungs. Repeat this exercise four more times, taking a few moments rest between each repetition. To awaken your pineal gland, you need to repeat this exercise again for two more days in a row at 24 hours apart. The entire exercise only has to be done once to be effective. It may take six weeks or more to experience your newly awakened abilities. <laughs>